Welcome to Nevada City, Montana. Now I'm from Nevada City, California. I gotta look up the dates to see which one came first. Uh, I'm sure both of these were before the state of Nevada was formed. Um, this town is a kind of a recreated gold rush town with many of the buildings being brought in from outside of the area, including Yellowstone, to recreate this uh, fairly historic village of Nevada City, Montana. Let me show you around a little bit. Here's your uh, one room schoolhouse from Virginia City. Virginia City's just down the road a piece. Wow, pretty primitive. Let's go check out some of these other buildings. Uh, of course, it was the uh, mining that developed these places. This was gold mining, started out with plaster mining, and then I believe went to hard rock mining. And they eventually got railroads and and uh, and all that going on. But being established during right around the Civil War time, there was very little uh, federal help with law enforcement. So there was vigilante committees formed to help maintain law and order, especially along the the trails and roads around here to stop the robberies from happening along the roadways. I think the main trade route was from here through Bannock Pass, Idaho. What do we got in here? So it's about 12 bucks to uh, come and tour Nevada City, Montana. Looks like the wagon house. All sorts of manners. Of transportation in here. Haha, <laughs> Dad, is that a water rig? There's the wooden plugs you use to make your steel castings. Actually, yeah. You'd have to have your foundry, which we have in Nevada City, California. Got a pretty cool saloon down here to check out. Boots and shoes. Everything you need to keep your boots going. <laughs> your riding boots. What's going on with Sheriff Opie here? Oh. Oh yeah, get the stockades. Now here's a proper Victorian house, what you would find in Nevada City, California. After, I suppose a lot of this would look a lot like our Nevada City in California before it burned down the first or second or third time. And then got more refined with more brick structures and Victorian architecture. But initially you start out with rough structures like this. Here's the general store. Let's see what they got to offer inside here. Hello, <laughs> hello, hello. Hi, I'm on into the Apple Bound and Crab. What have you got here? Looks. This is a general mercantile. Yeah. And if there's anything you want that you don't find, just let me know. And we can have it here in about two weeks on the wagon from Salt Lake. Uh huh. And do you, is it true were you able to keep. Uh, what you don't see on the shelf here, was there extras maybe in the back of, of extra supplies? Or pretty much did you put out on display whatever you had? Upstairs, yeah. Is some extras? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. All right, wow. Right now upstairs just has old, 
old furniture that needs repair. <laughs> it's old furniture. Uh-huh. But yes, yeah, upstairs, we would have kept additional stuff. Look at that. Glasses, everything. I bet you even got a can of Dapper Dan. There is some pomade. Some pomade, yeah. We do have hair pomade. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Dapper. So you know I'm a Dapper Dan, man. Here we have our oh, look at this. pomade right here. Uh -huh. uh, there's actually a display bottle outside. Uh, if you look in the window outside, you can see this the hair product. And there's another hair product, I believe, in here. Uh -huh. One of them says it's a hair product. And a stay curl. Some steak curl hair products. Oh, yeah, as look well, at that right there. If you'd like. <laughs> Excellent. Everything to keep you looking sharp. That's right. On the trail or in town. Everything in the store actually represents 1912. About 1912 vintage yeah. stuff. Because I've seen the latest in uh, vacuum cleaners over here, it looks yes. like. Yes. That's fantastic. Which we would not have had yeah. in 1965. <laughs> That's right. But uh, the types of goods. Canned goods, dry goods, mm -hmm. the medicinals, the soaps, the paint, the clothes, the lamps and the household items, the baby carriages. If it fit on the wagon, we could have it here. Outstanding. Thanks for volunteering. Yeah, thanks for coming. Now over here is the boarding house. If you're out on the trail and you need a place to stay, you could stay here for how how little per week? Uh, one, two dollars a week in gold dust. Yes, twenty dollars a week, and that that included a couple of meals per it day. Did two meals a day. Actually. Uh huh. And so the kitchen and dining are downstairs here in the boarding house, and the boarding is upstairs. And it was just just like we're doing on the motorcycles. You just put your bedroll down and slept on the floor, but you got to sleep under a roof. Absolutely. During thunderstorm season. Okay, here's the uh, the bar. We got a table of poker going on here, and the ladies here are gonna fire up the old player piano. Okay, we're ready. Fire away. Brilliant! Thanks for the demonstration. So, do these pianos only play back, or could someone play? And does it actually punch the cards? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I, I just wondered how they made made the reels originally. You have to do it on a different machine, do you, to punch? Yes, the holes exactly. Yeah, I yep. didn't know if the piano. And the way did it, it works, so the pedals pump the air up, yeah, and then the air flows through here. When the air can actually oh. escape it, that's what depresses the key. <gasps> that sounds amazing, isn't it? Huh. Got to have a blacksmith shop, a smithy of the metallurgical arts. And of course, an assay office to determine the value of your gold and get you paid. So you could spend your money right there. Now here's a shop that's got all the stuff to work on these pedal organs. Look at that. All the tools of the trade. Here's the laundromat. You uh, wash here, rinse there, scrub there, and if you've got white garments, you use the bluing compound to take the dinge out of your white garments. Here's another fully stocked cash store, dry goods store. Hey, 
everything you might need. Used vehicle dealership. Pretty fine selection. They even got some snow rigs back there. Oh, and the one for the mortician. Here's the ladies mercantile with a lot of original stuff from 1890s all the way up to 1930s. 1930s with the original boxes. Original boxes. Wow, and that's the original. Wow. And that's the original. I mean, just still sitting there ready to be sold. Wow. <laughs> New old stock. Yeah. Now you got some of the later model fabrics, but, yeah, but replica. The replica patterns. Of the hats. And here's one of the biggest collection of pipe organs I've, I've ever seen. Calliope's. Wolitzer's. And here's your Nevada City Hotel, two stories. Not unlike our National Hotel in Nevada City, California. Of course, ours is all brick, due to the <laughs> tendency for these old wood buildings to burn down. And you can apparently uh, still rent cabins back here and actually stay overnight in Nevada City, Montana. So that's a quick tour of Nevada City, Montana from a guy from Nevada City, California. I've always seen this on the map. First time I ever got to see this in person. What a treat. See you here. Right,